Hey, hey everyone. So this is in hyperdrive today. I've got it sped up because, well, I can't fit so many hours of stuff into 10 minutes without doing that. Anyway, uh, cleaning out the bristle nose tank here. As you can see, they crap a lot. And there is the Christmas cookie tub. Empty, of course. I ate them all. Now I shed them. Here's the axolotls hanging out. Phoenix and Turkflowers looking cute. Here's Harry. Happy ears. More cleaning. More Harry. More cuddles. Cuddles. Oh, don't want that on camera, eh? Okay, bye bye. That was my Borneo sword and my Aquarius rush or Japanese rush. And here we are looking at the leopards. And here's the goldfish, all huddled up down in the corner. Don't know what that's about. That little guy's not invited. Must be an adult's club meeting or something going on there. Here in the dark we've got some minnows hiding down the back in the grass. Up to mischief, no doubt. That's always good. We like mischief in the fish room. Here's my other minnows. Been open and asked about things, aren't they? They don't mind cruising around at top. Yay! No babies today, though. Naughty. No, no foods for use. Ha ha. I'm a liar. Anyway, meeting's still going on. And we got the old tadpoles here. Hee <laughs> hee. Got to give it a bloke. Make sure it's not. I don't know. Lame. And I got a goldfish fry that was rogue in my minnow tub of minnow fry, and so they can eat them. And anyway, so we just got some fry footage from the top tank, all the way at the top of the rack. Then I got water on my lens, so I had to go clean that. Just, the water's still on the lens at the moment. Here's a close-up of Harry being nosy, thinking he's, he's going to get fed. He is mistaken right now. More goldfish fry up at the top. Been cracking up at these guys, getting nice and fat, and starting to actually look like goldfish. And there's more hiding in there. There's even a, a black moor in there. There's a moor with little bleedy, beady black eyes. More fry. Nova Tom. And this here is a new addition to the fish room. This is my sister's. Now my sister's got a little dude, so I got sent home with this. Uh, she's trying to downsize her fish tanks because she's busy and she works full time. And anyway, so this is where the baby bristle nose came from. I gave these bristle nose to my sister for her birthday a couple years ago. Now they breed. As you can see, I decked my sister's tank out long time crystals. Apparently I've got to return them. That sucks, huh? Anyway, um, so in here we've got rough amethyst. We have a load of light which is the big ones, uh, and there's white quartz in there as well, and some rose quartz. This here is how I dechlorinate. Doing a water change on the sword slash bristle nose fry tank, and that's what I use to dechlorinate, but that's another video on its own. So this is all cool. Starting to get a bit cleaner, but look at all that crap floating around. Now it's all getting swirled up because I'm putting more water in, so, you know, I'll just try and get some more of that crap out. Why don't I? I can't believe how much they crap. They just crap all the time. I mean, you put so much food in there and they create more crap out of the food you give them than is actually possible. It's like, how does that work? You put so much in and then it's so much more comes out. It seems. Anyway, goldfish are, I don't know, finished their little club meeting. Thanks, a la Bretts, for the handy dandy bubble quietener, splash stopper, whatever it is. It's great. I love it. Look at my dirty glass. I better scrub that. In the meantime, have a look at the axolotls again. Yeah, Harry's hanging out of the back. Everybody's okay. This is looking a bit clearer. Obviously, I need to get a bit of filter for that one. And look, I can breed snails too. So I've got, I don't know, normal ramsons in there. Hey, that's my Marimo Moss Bull, or New Zealand's answer to one. 
just a big clump of some sort of hair algae I think it was and here we're having a speedy look at all the snails in the goldfish fry tank now we're back to the leopards because this is super fast I can't even keep up while I'm talking so uh, I've done a recount and they have had more fry and I counted seven babies the other day so we've got an extra three in there if my math is correct because there were four the other day so that's really cool hope nobody's getting sick from this because Jesus is a bit fast anyway so cool two different fry sizes and lots of snails having a feed here we got platys and hyperdrive Woohoo! and there's babies in here too look at that little guy swimming around he's like hey what's that and there's the other one up in the left corner of that frame back then in the past already haven't and yeah here's the guppies here's some more crystals so that big one at the front was low to light and I have a tumbled amethyst in there which is the purple one and the pink one is pink quartz well, not pink quartz sorry Jeez, brain fart this morning. Oh, I haven't had a coffee. I'm sorry. So that's rose quartz, and the little one behind it with the algae growing on, on it was a agate geode. And you saw my little Siamese fighter. Here I am growing my kumara slips so I can grow kumara in my garden, which is a sweet potato. For anyone who doesn't know, that's what we call them in New Zealand. And here I am cleaning the glass while I'm doing a water change on this top tank. So, I've got my mesh on the bottom so I don't suck up any little guppies on the end of the hose there with a hair tie. What else are you going to use? This is a plant that I found the other day when I was busy staring in a creek. I do not know what it is. I haven't had a chance to try and identify it online. So if anyone knows what that is, please let me know. Save me some time. Here's Phoenix again with his... Uh, what do you call that? Look at that numpty leg. He's got a little numpty leg. That's alright. Phoenix will rise from the ashes. Here I am just uh, cleaning out the tadpole gunk at the bottom. So they get fed frozen lettuce cubes that I made. And uh, yeah, it makes a mess. So I've got to clean that up too. And here we are with the new teas. So here I am over here filling up that tank over there, aren't I? Guppy tank? Yeah, the guppy tank. It's getting filled right now. And I'm busy getting distracted, aren't I? I bet you can tell what's going to happen. So, yeah. So, turn the container around for the newts because I'm sick of staring at the sticker at the front trying to look at them. And they're all looking super cute and stuff. In the middle, we've got Legolas. Legolas. He's the one who got his little leg bitten. And that's why they got cut. So, that's all good. And here's the wimmies, and yeah, this video is going to be all wrapped up in a minute. I finished filming very shortly. And I didn't go and eat my noodles. No, I didn't. I had to uh, run around doing other things instead of eating my tea, so by the time I got to it, it was cold. And that's just ridiculous. Yeah, I flooded the tank. Okay.